Hey guys, this is Sleepy Sleepy 12 for Gamer's Beverage, and we've got episode 10 of Magnitude X's multiplayer series. Uh, so we've, get, we've got a game of Wanted on the Castel Gandalfo, and he's playing as the barber? No? <laughs> I don't know what you're playing as. Executioner. Yes, the Executioner, so... I was kind of distracted there. I think I was fiddling around with the uh, controls controls on a recording software. So I, I, I wanted to be the barber, but somebody else kind of took him from me. To assassinate assigned targets. Oh. Avoid other Templars. You're playing on the Xbox in this one, right? No, no, this is this is still PlayStation. So uh, oh. kind of, you know, I try to get off to a pretty good start here. I flip my disguise. I, uh, I have my courtesan in my sight. I get the poison off. So uh, it's it's a great little lead right in the beginning, and uh, I do I also get that lure? I think I get a lure here somewhere. You got first blood. Yeah, so I got the first kill. I was just racking up points right at the beginning. Uh, it's the, kind of the best way to start off a game. Is that the first time you got first blood? No, no. It's all it is is just whoever kills the person first. Yeah. Um. The, the thing I'm trying to kind of always get across to a lot of the players is uh, when you're playing and you're using uh, a smoke bomb and a poison or any kind of ability that kind of takes a little bit of time to work but it gives you extra points but it leaves you defenseless, the best thing to do is start off with that poison. Using only one? Using the poison, right? Get it off, try to get it as early as possible just to get that big lead in the beginning. Yeah. And uh, you actually see it in the community submission from Mercutio. He gets the poison off very quickly and then he changes up his profile set to uh, a very defensive set. So he, he'll start rocking the smoke bomb and a, uh, a mute or a charge or something like that. So it's always a good thing to kind of get that right off the beginning and then as soon as you see the game kind of starting to change where you start getting three pursuers after you kind of like I do right here and you see me running running away quite a bit. You play defensively? You start playing defensively. You start getting your defensive profile sets up and uh, you, you know like you you don't go for those kills anymore you kinda let your pursuers come to you and when you take care of those pursuers then you go for your your uh... Ooh. yeah I got poison right there. That was very very slick of whoever did that. That was really good I didn't even know who it was. Very very nicely pulled off right there I did not even see that. <laughs> But uh, a pretty pretty close game between the two level 50s, so uh, we, mm -hmm. we give each other a run for our money. I mean, I was playing on uh, Xbox earlier when you were here with me. Yeah. And I was yelling at the TV. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was lagging, and he was just, like, cussing and, like, going, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's a little bit unbelievable how bad some of the uh, teammates are. They were really bad though. They were just running around and stealing my kills. Yeah, it was so bad. Yeah, you guys will probably get to see that game. Um, I mean, I, I doubled my every score. every person's score. every person's score on my team. <laughs> um, even though they were you came in late, didn't you? Yeah, I did come in late, and they were yeah. stealing my uh, kills left and right. So, I mean, I would lock onto somebody, I'd be going for them, and then from behind me, they'd rush in and just take take my person out so yeah, you, you were tricking them too. I was tricking them <laughs> so it got to the point where I was setting up false lock-ons just to, just so to, evil just to mess them up because you're you pissing me off you were playing manhunt I was that's team effort though hey they weren't they weren't putting any team effort towards okay. themselves so they, they weren't helping me out at all so you're gonna screw around with so them. I'll screw around with their heads so but I mean it's a whole bunch of you know Noobs. newbie newbie Xbox players yeah New box 360. New box 360, exactly. <laughs> that's that's my new word for uh, for the day. New box 360. And if you guys want a real challenge, come on to PlayStation 3. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna have a whole bunch of fanboys after me now. Yeah. Everybody disliking They're this video. They're gonna start disliking. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, but no need to dislike. I do play on both. So. Mhm. Mm uh, what about you, Sleepy Sleepy? What system do you have at home? I have the Wii, the Xbox you gave me. And a Super Nintendo. <laughs> Super Nintendo is probably it's the best. It's still one. good. It's the best one. It's still good. So uh, I don't know why, but I, I still have my offensive setup right here, and I'm kind of trying to play uh, kind of like uh, 
a game of tag with this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This I've, is where, um, when you were telling me about ACR's stun versus assassinate thing that they have now. Yeah, you so said, like, contested kill. Con contested kill. Yeah. So I, I do talk about this with Esco Blades. Um, you guys can definitely check out his channel. He, uh, we did a little dual commentary with like a, a nice little overlay analysis mm -hmm. uh, of um, Assassin's Creed, and we did an alliance game. Surprisingly, we actually got into one. And uh, we we talk about contested kills. We talk about um, different little changes, how stuns look at a little bit different in Assassin's Creed Revelations. But, um, you know, if you guys want more information on that, definitely check out the uh, Ubisoft. What do you mean they look different? Uh, like animation? Animation-wise, usually when you get uh, stun in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, what happens is you actually get uh, dropped to the ground. So you lie down on the ground. Um, in ACR, it's a little bit different. Where you're actually, um, you, it's almost like you kneel down. Oh. And people are able to come back, like your teammates are up, are able to come and revive you. So. Oh, that's cool. So they're able to help you out. And the, I think it was the new resistance kind of animation because you're able to get up very, very quickly from that stun. Even if nobody revives you. So. Oh. So it's very nice. That revive is kind of like zombies. Yeah, like zombies and uh, in uh, Black, Ops. Black Ops, you're able to revive your, uh, your teammates. Bodies, yeah. So it's almost like a last stand kind of kind of deal. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll see. Right here, I, I'm already switching over to my defensive setup because I know I have too many people after me, and I, I just can't afford to. Uh, and well. I, yeah, I got shot. <laughs> it, it never fails. Just like uh, any game you play, there's always like going to the, be somebody the shooting gun. you. I don't like the gun. It kind of feels like. It's cheap. It is. It's it's super pro, right? As uh, Shamu36 says, the only time you should be using a gun is to annoy the crap out of your teammates. <laughs> Alright, so I kind of get lucky right here. The guy, I don't know, killed the wrong, killed person. The wrong person. Somebody got a lure probably out of that, and uh, I just walk in and take it out. Oh. And I get killed right behind him, so. A uh, little bit late on the reaction time there. Oh, it's okay. You got the points for him, right? So. Yeah, 300 points, but I did I did give up points there, so I wasn't too proud of Kinda that. Kind of evened out, man. I wasn't too proud of that. But right here, Prowler's running. And uh, this little part, it's a little bit uh, of a leg glitch right here. You see the Prowler fall to the ground, and you see me go like straight and down. <laughs> so, it wasn't exactly fair. It was fair. really like flying jump. Yes, yeah, so a nice little flying jump. <laughs> I went straight forward, and then I went straight down to uh, take him out. And uh, right here, that's funny here. The game uh, <laughs> decides to help me out right here and spawns a NPC that looks exactly like me. Um, and uh, what I'm kind of doing right here is I'm trying to lure in my pursuers because I know at this point I have three people after me. Is this girl doing like um, circles? Yeah, you can hear me mashing that uh, square button, and for so for some reason I just cannot get her. Uh, uh oh. And the barber's right behind that me. That guy didn't. Did he just shoot you? He did. That's how the game works, you know. That's quick. Somebody kills you, and then two seconds later, they get you as a contract again. Oh. So, um, it's it's expected. So it's I guess you if you catch on to it quickly that the same person's killing you, one time after another, then you can kind of figure out who's gonna be after you, and you can plan your uh, your. You can uh, figure out what like what weapons or like what abilities they have. Yeah, you can do that right? too. But I mean, people will always change them up. Uh, between each True. each uh, kill that each time they respawn. Yeah. So you can't always uh, kind of Re rely on that. rely on that, but you can rely on your defensive abilities. Yeah. And uh, right here, I'm tr I'm trying to lure in all my. Uh, oh, they're I, flying. I see, I see one person. You know, it's my target, and then I see the red arrow, and I'm just kind of thinking to myself, okay, you know, just play it cool. There's one one persona like me that looks the same. You know, maybe maybe they'll go for that person. Uh, but a lot of the times I, I, I'm a little, you know, I freak out a little bit and then I'll drop my smoke bomb <laughs> and, uh, take her out right there. I thought there. she was going to totally, like, walk by and yeah. just be like, meh. Well, that's what people do. They try to lure you out and the what they're trying to do is get you to move, right? Yeah. So. Because you, like, they think you're going to be scared and start, exactly. like, throwing stuff down. Yeah. This guy comes in for me. I just quickly mute him. You and, uh, did a 360 right there. And I took him out. And then finally the Heliquin comes right into my hands and I'm able to take her out and then I I make a run for it because I don't have anything 
to defend myself with right now. Yeah. So I'll quickly just circle back around because I know I only have 30 seconds left. And I see the right triangle remaining. and I think oh. I, got, I got poison right there. So. Oh. Did you? Yeah. Oh, we did. I got poison. Wow. And uh, I didn't react quite quick enough with the uh, circle button to stun that person. I mean, at least I could have probably gotten a few points off of the stun. Oh, you even can still stun them even if they get poisoned, right? They, momentarily, when they poison you, you're still able to get that stun off. Because it doesn't pull off right away. I, I think it's more of a leg oh. problem, but that's the end of the game, so... That was good. Yeah, it was not too bad. Yeah. You have finished um, first. So, 5,300 points. Am I supposed to say the subscribe part? Uh, I'll let you say that, yeah. So, 10 kills, 8, 9 deaths, and, uh, you know, I rushed a little bit, but... Ended up top. So, okay. it's, it's all good. Cause, so, um, every, remember to subscribe, rate, and comment. I did not do that in the right order. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just check out my channel, check out the videos, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Alright, see ya.